guys and girls welcome back to my channel i do hope you're doing well oh my god my lovelies if you've seen this thumb now do you know how much i've just broke my back trying to lift this normally you see me and i'm like Whoo! we have got so much okay i kind of got a little bit carried away i don't know what's wrong with me the christmas season is well and truly here we have something that didn't fit in the bag which i'm sure you would have seen in the thumbnail it was kind of hanging over me and then i actually can't even lift it guys i can't even lift it but you can see there is tinsel in there there is food there is grease there is i literally almost just pulled my hand off there trying to move it guys this is heavy okay this is blooming heavy so i don't want to sit here and rib it rabbit because i have a feeling this is probably going to be one of the biggest hauls we've had so far who says that i don't do christmas hauls big eh <laughs> right so first off i'm going to address this because i know the current circumstances and situation that we are all in please please do not think i am bragging okay there are going to be a lot of hauls over november black friday christmas i don't keep everything as i let you know but i like to get a good selection i don't want to tune you in and it be like a few items because to me when i watch a haul i like watching a big haul i like to see everything that is about you know so some of this stuff may go back but with the bargain shops probably i'd say 80 percent is kept because it's like food and cleaning essentials and bits and bobs like that and i like to show you the prices that you can get in the bargain shop instead of paying them in your supermarket okay so i just want to address that there is going to be a lot of hauls i don't mean to come across as insensitive or bragging absolutely blooming not i just like to get a selection and then trust me i have to think of me uh, purse like everyone else and take a few things back all right but now we've got that over with let's get in with the haul my lovelies i'm so excited okay so excited you can't even imagine right what are we going to start with let's start with something that people might think is tacky okay we all know me and mama g we love a bit of tinsel so i mean i wanted a tinsel uh, <laughs> tree it's like a tinsel cone they had it in plain white but i'm not gonna lie i saw this gave me complete grinch vibes and i was like i need you this was i think 199 or 249 which again this is not a necessity please don't think this is a necessity and also i'm going to probably faff around with my hair all day long because we're getting to the stage where i need to wash it but you know when you have freshly dyed hair and you're just scared to wash it i'm in that stage so the hair for probably the past next week or so it's gonna look a state we're just gonna deal with it and then once i'm back we're gonna give it a good wash and then hopefully just leave it for probably another two three weeks oh no maybe not that long maybe a couple we'll have to see we'll have to see my lovelies but yes 199 or 249 it's gimmicky ain't it and something like this i will actually keep for years because it's going to go with everything it's traditional colors love it as i say very like grinchy vibes and we all know i love the blooming grinch what else i do love is snacks 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 oh my god when i saw these 99p come at me my lovelies i got my giant share bag of roast beef monster munch giants share bag aka a shannon bag because shannon doesn't share snacks 99p i'm so i'm so sold you know how long i've been trying to find these don't you i haven't been able to find them for god knows how long and i saw them straight in the basket you didn't even have to tell me i'm gonna start chucking stuff because i have a feeling this bed's gonna get very very packed very very soon you know right oh my god there's just everything and anything where do i even start so i've been getting a few bits for mum for like her christmas eve boxes and everything like that this i think was 3.99 or 4.99 slightly more pricier because it is a branded but if you know anyone who likes reese's oh my god guys the selection in home bargains insane and a fraction of the price that you pay in the supermarkets so this is miniature peanut butter cups it's a reese's miniatures cane 22 cups inside so you know what if it's like three or four pounds for 22 i don't think that's too bad and if you do know someone who loves reese's what a great little like stocking filler that is eh i was gonna say i didn't think canon was gonna focus on the chocolate but yeah mama g we all know she absolutely loves reese's and peanut butter so there may be a few more bits coming along they did have quite a large selection i was kind of like oh how much do i actually get her but i thought we'd just get a few little bits just to test the waters okay right you're really gonna shout at me i just you're really gonna shout at me okay what is one thing that i probably don't need any more of well actually i definitely don't need any more of but oh there's something in there my love has got another mug please don't shout at me <laughs> please don't shout 
I just, I just could not, not pick this up, okay? So it says, Canon, focus on the gorgeous mug. There we go. Candy cane kisses, and it's got a candy cane holder. This is a perfect latte mug, okay? It's nice, it's deep, it's good. They had quite a few different styles of these. I think there was a baby pink one, a green, a white. But we all know I love a good candy cane so much that I might have even picked up some candy canes. Yes, I am that person that can sit and eat candy canes like there's no tomorrow. Doesn't do too good for me in size because I do sometimes start to feel a bit whoo, whoo. But I saw this, I just could not. This was $3.99. So this also would be perfect for like a Christmas Eve box or if you was doing like a little hamper for someone for Christmas and they love coffee, tea. Even if you like tea, you can still have a latte mug because you just get more in there, didn't you? I'm going to put that on there because I don't want to break that. And then... <laughs> You know how I just get suckered in with gimmicky bits tonight. Um, this was £1.29 if I remember correctly. Likewise, when I got the Halloween one, this is a little Santy. A little Santa cannon. For some reason, it's focusing on the back. A little Santa hand wash. And with these, you unscrew them once they're empty. You can then refill them and use them again year in, year out. We have actually got a few, but I think ours are getting a little bit ropey now. So I was like, you know what? We'll invest and get some new ones, you know? I just I don't even know where to begin, my love. Is I really don't. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Shannon. I get very sidetracked. And I just felt like I needed a giant cupcake pink candy cane for my tree this year. Look at how nice that is. This was, what was you, two ninety nine. Now, my lovelies, if you go into garden centres, okay, you are going to pay through the roof. I probably wouldn't be surprised if I saw this in a garden centre for nine, twelve pound. Honestly, I really want to go to garden centres this year, but I don't because I feel the prices are going to go up, like everything has, and I can't say no at Christmas. Do we need any baubles? No, you've got plenty of baubles. Do I still buy baubles every year? Yes, I do. Just to try and find that tiny little gap or that tiny little branch that ain't got one. And it all gets expensive. It all adds up, doesn't it? So I saw this and I thought, you know what? Because of the string as well that it has, so it's got like a little pink string holder if you don't want to use the big silver one, but you could hang this on a door or like I could hang it around my room somewhere or like place it in something, maybe like through someone's antlers or something because I may have got sidetracked and bought another Christmas decoration but hey ho we're just um we're just gonna ignore that and I might save him till last but yeah I thought that was really nice they had quite a large selection all your classics like the whites the golds and they had like the reds and tartans they had a baby blue section and then they had like the pink girly section you know which I'm all here for okay more Chris. Marcus, I actually got these for Dada. They are the McCoy's Fire Pit Flame Roasted Peri Peri. Five packs for a pound. I mean, you cannot go wrong with McCoy's, can you? Tell me in the comments below, what is your favourite McCoy's flavour? Or if you don't like McCoy's, what are your favourite crisps? My favourite McCoy's flavours, I mean, I do like them all, but if I had to rate them, I think it would be steak, salt and vinegar, cheese and onion, and then ready salted. Because I'm very particular with salt and vinegar crisp. But McCoy's, I absolutely love. And what I do love, I'm very excited now I've seen this. Air fresheners. Christmas air fresheners. Why was there no pumpkin spice ones in autumn? Glade, Airwick, everyone who does air fresheners, you're missing out on your autumnal sense, okay? Pumpkin pie, pecan pie, pumpkin latte. Where are the air fresheners for that, okay? Because I didn't really see any. And I was a little bit saddened, to be perfectly honest. But I picked this up. This was one pound for Glade, spiced apple and cinnamon. It says limited edition, but you know that you're going to get these in the shops probably until February, until they sell out that stock, ain't it? So the whole house is going to be smelling so festive when I come back. I just cannot wait. And talking about smelling nice, Mum said to me, oh, if you go back, can you try and get some of them nicey things for the wardrobe i'm like what do you mean she said you know the things that smell nice i was like oh the sachet she was like yeah so these are a pound for three which i don't think is too bad and they are a three pack of scented sachets i got her fresh linen and calming lavender these are really great she usually hangs them around on her hangers and then i think she's got a few little like baskets in her wardrobe she pops them in there but just to keep it smelling fresh i would like if they done these in christmas scents but I don't think they will. I think this is just like the generic all the year round scent. 
But if they've done a Christmas one, you know I'm going to have to go and look for it, ain't I? Oh my goodness, I literally, guys, there's literally just stuff everywhere, okay? We're just going to have to uh, go with it and hopefully try not to smash everything. Finally managed to get mum her sponges. You remember last time I had to pick up the uh, pack of four Does It brand. These are Power Action, 10 for 79p. I like the pink ones. Mum likes the green ones. So she's got some more sponges. That's one thing that at the moment she's going through left, right, centre because we're kind of giving all the pans and the stew pots a good old deep clean because it's coming into winter now. It's going to be soups, it's going to be stews, it's going to be casseroles, it's going to be hot pots, it's going to be everything and anything that is carby. And you know what? I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad. I think if I restrict myself in the daytime, I will enjoy my evening meal a lot more. You know, I will enjoy indulging in all that gravy goodness. You know, you know what I mean, my lovelies. Another thing, very basic, J cloths. We all know Mama G loves a pack of J cloths. 34, I believe these are about 99p, under a pound for these. But she likes these just to mop up. And this is great for when I overboil my water when I do potatoes. She does this and then rings it out, kind of like a one she does plenty, you know? She uses this. This is how Hun she does plenty. Let me tell you that. You might think, my lovely Shan, you seem to be rushing a little bit. I just feel like this is going to be incredibly long, and I don't want to take any time of your day. I don't want you sitting here for like another hour because you're probably sick of me with my face on here six days. Six days? Yeah, six days a week. And you've had the holiday vlogs, which were like hours upon hours. I want you to I want you to enjoy your day, okay? Because hopefully if you're watching this on the Sunday morning, this is going to be like your little wake up and you might even think, you know what? We're going to take a trip to the bargain shop after this. If you do, let me know down below, all right? Oh, these were good. And on quite a good offer, I think, my lovely. So, these are the bathroom fresheners. You know the ones that you like scratch off and sniff? Absolutely love it. There's a new scent though, cozy. I've just dropped one. Isn't that fabulous? What did I drop? frosted berries now frosted berries they have had this before this is quite a regular one and i'm sure they had the sugar plum delight last year now these were two pound fifty each or three for a fiver which i didn't think was too bad but this new one oh cozy christmas oh my god what is that oh it's like a vanilla -y scent so, of course, I had to get all three. So, these will be sitting in the bathroom. Or, actually, mum might take them for Dada. Because I know that he normally has these in the bathroom. But, yeah. Again, stuff like this, I would highly recommend going to your bargain shops. Because the supermarkets will be 2 free quid. They always put a little bump on, don't they? They have to put their little price on. And it's not worth it. We need to make sure that every penny can. So bargain shops all the way i am going to try and perhaps venture to poundland you might think sham poundland's dropped off your channel you know what my lovelies i get annoyed why call a shop poundland when half of the stuff now is not a pound i seen people's comments it's like 125 152 pound no it's poundland so the thing should be a pound or the majority of your stuff should be a pound like we used to have the 99p store in our area that shut down because it was took over by poundland it's not going to be called the one pound 25 store is it they're still displaying it as poundland and i think you should have i would say at least 75 percent of your stock at a pound but i don't think that that is the vibe from what i gather from everyone with poundland however i might have a swing by might have a little uh, stop and have a little look around but who knows? I do know that I definitely want to go to B&M because we all know I love B&M for that homeware in the seasons. You might not get B&M every month, but when it's a new season, you will get a B&M. So as I say, for like winter and Christmas, you'll get one. There was one for autumn, spring and summer, you'll get it. And you might get an odd one back to back if I need to go there for anything in particular. But yeah, home bargains, you'll notice I get a bit of homeware, but it's more the food, the drinks, the snacks. B&M is the one where I go more for my homeware and if I see a few foodie bits on offer, that's where I go. But yeah, B&M for homeware, home bargains for me food. Combine them together and your girl is happy. She is happy indeed. Talking about food, I wanted something sweet. So when you're watching this, I will be in Newcastle and all the plans scuppered around. You'll probably see that 
I think I talk about it in my winter skincare routine about <laughs> I've just got no luck with travel to be honest so I need something to snack on to like keep me awake these were £1.29 and they are a box of mini strawberry meringues so I thought they're sweet they're crunchy so it's going to keep my jaw going it's not like I'm just going to be done i need to like physically eat it i will probably be more than aware because i don't want to be dropping crumbs in the car so i thought hey let's get a box of meringues you know a blooming box of meringues oh wow oh also guys these i cannot rave about wickford and co enough i have tried one of their candles i tried the pumpkin latte or pumpkin chai spice um for halloween only the little one i didn't get the big one because we all know i have a little bit of a phobia with oh my god everything's just twisting and turning in there oh wow um i have a little bit of a phobia of candles breaking but a lot of you have said to me shan it's absolutely fine we've had them you're good to go so i have tried one tea lights are where i fall tea lights i will buy every single pack that i see and in addition to tea lights their diffusers are really good these are 199 for 100 mil diffusers can be really expensive guys okay you see some diffusers that will be 50 mil and you'll be paying six seven pound it might be because of the brand it might be because of the style this is just a plain bottle with a little sticker what more do you want what more do you want so i picked it up in the mold wine these are normally above where in my store you have the candles and then you have like the air fresheners and these are above they have so many flavors mold wine there's a gingerbread one there's a spice berry there's apple and cinnamon honestly again if you're doing a hamper for someone or you're looking for a little something for a christmas eve box or a secret santa gift you know someone that likes diffusers or i mean who doesn't like diffusers I don't know anyone who don't like diffusers. Who wouldn't want a nice little uh, present for the home, eh? I mean, I would. People might think, well, you're sad. But I'd quite like a little present for the house, you know? Now, I got this and... Oh, I think I've chipped it. Yes, I have chipped it. Oh, Shannon Lou, that's fabulous. I'm going to have to put some red nail varnish on that. These are my lovelies. Oh, goodness, what's dropping? Please don't smash. Please don't smash. This was 4 99 and it is a wrought iron poinsettia. A little poinsettia leaf. Am I missing a leaf as well? Oh, no, I'm not. It's just the way it is. I looked at that and thought, God, I'm missing a little bulb. What, I'm missing a leaf? I thought this was really nice. And it comes with a rope string. Very rustic vibes. But I actually really like that. You see that there? I've smashed it around, so I'm going to have to put a bit of uh, red nail polish on that. But I really like that. I thought it was very, very nice indeed. And I do love a good poinsettia. I think it is very classic. And I'm all here for keeping like some traditionalism in Christmas. Yes, I get a giant pink candy cane, which is like a cupcake. But I still do like reds, whites, greens. And um, the only colour that I don't really tend to go for at Christmas is purples and lilacs. If you know me, I tried a few things before. And we've got a few select baubles, I'm not going to lie. But for me purple is more halloween so like purples and oranges that's halloween and autumn and then when you move into christmas it's like reds greens blues pinks fuchsias whites gold silvers not a lot of gold we're more silver than gold but again we try to implement a bit over the years if you had to choose one color for your christmas theme what would it be my lovelies you know what i would go for i would go for like this white red green like the whole tinsel not tinsel vibes the grinch vibes i'd go for a grinch theme you know oh my goodness <laughs> right i don't think we needed any more but mum chucked out the halloween ones of these and then <laughs> we didn't realize she chucked them out until it was too late and then i was on the hunt to try and find a doormat but i saw these these were 2.99 so three pound each they had so many designs so many designs if you don't like these however they did have the big brown ones that you know are like the rougher thing that like you could actually like scrape boots on they had those those were 450 to five pound if i remember correctly but these were three pound look at how cute that is i'm such a child ain't i i am actually such a child but santa stop here hopefully santa stops here as I say, if not, I will be very grateful for whatever he brings. As long as he brings a bit of chocolate. If he brings a bit of chocolate, I am all good to go. And uh, talking about chocolate, this is kind of like my healthy chocolate. 
if you're a regular you know what i'm going to pull out these however are one pound 20 now used to be 99p you're coming up at 120 skinny whip bars oh my god this is practically my hair color i should be a face for skinny whip dark mint no dark chocolate and mint that is literally my hair color ain't it i mean i'm probably more vibrant than the packaging skinny whip guilt free high in fiber less than 99 calories oh my god these are an absolute savior when i'm in that snacky mode you know when it's like time of the month and you're just like give me all the chocolates well i am anyway i'm like i want the chocolate i want the savoriness so basically you want everything so they are very very good indeed my lovelies <laughs> there is still so much to go for in here and also we have a new addition to the christmas ornament family which i don't know if i'm going to save for last or show you when i come back but i'm going to go and quickly get a bit of a drink because i'm a bit parched let's come back for part two one thing i need to do next year i need to learn these settings on this camera because i feel like i look really pale and i haven't i've still got a bit of me tan i assure you i've still got a bit of me tan on but i just stick it on all oh, i and then leave it but maybe i should like maybe invest my time and find out what all the little knobs and buttons do because i ain't got a clue i ain't got a clue at all my lovelies let's have a look we've got some household bits now some household bits i got some de flora de flora no you didn't get de flora shan I got the flora disinfectant mist picked up in winter spice winter spice this was canon canon stop looking at the curtains is there something in my curtains that canon is detecting Canon, there we go, winter spice. This was two quid. Okay, Zaflora, you're gonna pay a little bit more. I was trying to see if Fabulosa had anything, but they didn't have their winter sense out yet. So good old Zaflora. I do begrudge, however, paying like three pounds for their disinfectants now. I know the bottles seem to be bigger, but I don't like the new packaging. I don't know what it is. I like the really old traditional ones, and I think we've still got some of the old ones under the sink, and I'm like I don't like the new packaging. I like the old one. It was more traditional. Now everything is white with this. I think to just try and be more aesthetic. But I don't want Christmas stuff to be aesthetic. Aesthetic, that's the word, isn't it? <laughs> I want it to be colourful. Mum needed some bleach. I was like, well, I got you a big one here. This is a big one litre platinum thick bleach. I think this was 110. The original one is about 69.79p and I think it's about... 600 or 700 mil but i thought it's platinum it's extra thick hopefully it's going to be a lot better don't say that i don't treat you eh, mother right um you're really going to shout at me for all these other bits in here this is just going to be a uh, shout to shannon i saw this this was hand painted i had to get it because it said on there all the jingle ladies well i'm jingle single and i'm a lady and I like my gin. These are hand painted. This was, I think, three ninety nine, four pad. But again, if you know someone who likes a gin, likes a drink, these are cute. Let me tell you, you will pick up these types of hand painted glasses in the likes of the homeware shops or even Matalan. Matalan, you'll pay maybe five, six pound, three ninety nine. I love this. I was contemplating keeping it and saying to Mum, "Do you want to put it in my?" Uh christmas eve box but i don't think so i think i need to be embracing my gin in this probably not on a regular basis of an evening at work but on an odd weekend i need my new gin glass and they had loads in there absolutely loads of which i was thinking right next month i'm gonna come back get mum maybe like a nice wine glass because she don't really drink gin get her a nice wine glass they had these little mold wine glasses I had to be really restrained. You're probably thinking, Shane, you weren't restrained at all because look at what you've blooming picked up. But I could have gone, I could have gone a lot more, you know. 69p kitchen foil essential. We are going to be doing loads of roasts. Try not to use that much of the oven, but the air fryer. So I thought this was quite good because you can wrap it up. I saw on someone's TikTok they done a whole pork joint in an air fryer. I need to try this out. I think my air fryer is way too small, to be perfectly honest. I have looked at maybe a bigger one. I saw a T-Fail one, but it's 200 quid. And right about now, do I want to be investing 200 quid? No. Would I rather pay 
the two or three quid that it's going to cost to have the oven on yeah i think i'm going to stick with that however i have put it on my wish list across all of the uh places that do it so like john lewis curry's argos and all that for black friday deals so if it goes down in a black friday deal maybe me and mum will chip in and go halves each right <laughs> You're definitely going to shout at me for this one. You're definitely going to shout. Did I need any more? Absolutely not. Did I get suckered in with the packaging? Absolutely. So this is Cousins, aka Creations, like an imperial leather, dashing through the snow. They're taking the play on the words dashing for a dashing. There's a cute little sausage dog on it. And it's cinnamon sugar and winter sparkles. Limited edition spa soap. I didn't even smell this. I just saw it, picked it up and was like, yes. Oh my God, I need another one. Oh my god, that's phenomenal. It's like a drink. You could drink this. Well, I wouldn't advise to drink it, but... Woo! So, maybe I did need this in my life. I'm going to put you there because I think you've leaked a bit. Don't need you leaking on anything, Mr. Dashand. I will be picking some more of that up when I next go. One pound. One pound for 500 millilitres. Half a litre for a quid. You cannot go wrong, can you? You cannot go wrong let me tell you that tell you what you can't go wrong with as well these are 199 you get these in wilkinson's wilkinson's will normally be three to four pound for a candle half price at the bargain shop and it's glade so you know we've got the air freshener they do candles i get these candles pretty much every year i love the little decal that it's in you see that it's just very very nice i did used to try and keep these but it's only like a sticker and if you try and wash it it then comes off so it's not something that you can keep however spiced apple and cinnamon exactly like the air freshener these are the perfect little types of candles to put in the bathroom um we are going to town with the candles i don't think mum has ever been so happy that we've got so many candles in the house to be honest and for once i'm not getting it in the neck for buying candles because it is so surprising especially in say for example the bathroom because we've got the separate toilet and bathroom in the toilet we don't put a candle on i yeah <laughs> mama g just going out these are perfect we don't put anything in the toilet because i think that could potentially be a fire hazard with all the toilet roll and no it doesn't go in there but the bathroom however these are the perfect candles to go in there and as i say absolutely love them do i need an excuse to buy candles no absolutely not right this might surprise you okay because i'm not normally one for an energy drink however something about these just screamed out to me so i've tried two monsters well i haven't tried them i've picked them up they was £2 each or two for two fifty. Now, I know in the corner shops, they charge you about one eighty two quid for these because a couple of the lads at work have them religiously every morning. Then they're bouncing off the walls for the rest of the day. But it's very expensive. So I thought, you know what? one twenty five each, we will give them a go. I got an ultra watermelon and a punch energy. Not going to lie, this one just gave me Christmas vibes because it was red and green. And it just so happened to be watermelon. So I thought, you know what? We'll take these. I might take one for the drive up. Put it in a little uh, water bottle. I mean, I know it's not water, it's not hydration. But I will do that and then we can see how we go. I need the energy, don't I? I need the blooming energy. Two pound. Two pound. Everything's spiced apple. When you think of winter scents, everything is spiced apple or cinnamon, ain't it? Wishing you a fairy Christmas. Fairy Christmas. Spiced apple. And it's a big boy. That's why it was two pound. This is, normally you get the little ones, but I saw the big one. I thought, you know what, it's going to last. Mama G, don't be putting all of this in the old, uh, I was going to say in the car. You're definitely not putting it in the car, <laughs> in the sink. Don't be putting it all in the sink at once, okay? Hi, my name is Shannon and I love tea lights. I've got a pack of mulled wine tea lights. You get two, four, six, eighteen 18 tea lights for 99p. I also got it in the mulled wine scent to match my diffuser. You see what I mean? That could be a perfect little gift. And also they do the small candles and the big candles. I think the big candles are about 3 I think they're really like, you could get a bundle of maybe tea lights, a diffuser and a candle for less than a tenner. And as I say, if you've got a secret Santa or you're doing a little hamper or you just want to give a gift to someone, I really rate the bargain shops for gifts honestly i don't boots i used to love the three for two but i just feel it's very overpriced now 
you could do so many things and they actually did sell loads of hampers in the shop as well so if you want to go on and get a hamper don't go into your garden centers and pick up the hampers i think the most expensive hamper i saw in there was 4.99 and that was for the big basket with like red lining inside love it absolutely love it got a few more cans of drinks because as i say if you go to the bargain shop and you don't get your drinks what on earth are you doing my lovelies fanta peach 99p now i was so looking forward to this and i saw someone's comment the other day and they said the fanta peach ain't nice i'm gutted on this now so i'm hopefully going to uh enjoy this hopefully and a can of bit shandy 49p ben shores because you know what i saw something and i thought right if you saw the winter stew video you know that i kind of um really got back on track with ale so i saw this this was 1.99 which i think is such a good trip sorry my lovelies if me thing it's really annoying me my bra strap keeps showing on this i do apologize i've got me shanty but if i have my ale 1.99 look at this beer tank card and it's proper glass it's not plastic it's proper glass and it says it's christmas a beer o'clock i love this they did have a few different styles of this so i think when i go back i might actually look to pick dada up one actually because he does love a beer and who doesn't love a christmas themed beer cup eh did i need these no did i see him get them yes because i thought when we do our 24 hours eating christmas food you need napkins these were one pound 19 for 40 i don't think that was too bad they did used to be a quid did used to be 99p so again a little bit of a 10 pence here and a 20 pence there here a pence there a pence everywhere a pence pence oh my god why how did i get into like an old mcdonald's farm there shannon lee shannon lee right if you've been in home bargains you know that that gonk game is strong they have a really huge tall gong for 35 pounds with an led light up nose that every time i go in there i really want to bring home with me but mum says shan i think we've got a bit too many gongs we've got the red sequin one that we got from matlan last year that's it okay well that's it for the big ones let's just say but she didn't say nothing about getting a little one so this little guy was 9.99 and he's the new addition to the family they had it also in red but i thought we'll go with the silver and he's the one with like the little dangly legs. So you can put him on a shelf. You can have him sitting there like that. Or you can just have him chilling. Hey. So welcome to the family mate. Because there's a lot of gonks here. When we start unravelling everything. You're going to realise you're not the only one. You're not the only one. You're not going to be the last either. If I know me and Mama G. You're definitely not going to be the last over the Christmas period. Let's just say. Right. We've got, let's finish off. Let's finish all the drinks, I shall say, because there is quite a lot in here. Because as I say, stock up, actually stock up. I got this Oshi. Now, if you know me, oh, why did my phone just flash? Why did my phone just flash? Sorry about that, me lovelies. I better keep it there just in case. I don't want it going off and then I end up having to lean over. And with all this stuff on the bed, I mean, my God, I probably caused myself an injury. With the Oshi, if you know this, have I got... Did I pick up the normal bottle? I think I did, or maybe I didn't. I normally get the big 750ml bottles for 50p. This was the little one, but it's a different one. So it's 555ml, and I think it was about 99p. So it's not as big, and it's double the price. You're probably thinking, why? Apparently, this has got vitamins in. Yes, I know you're probably thinking, Sean, it's an absolute gimmick. But I thought we'd give it a go. Magnesium, vitamin B6, and biotin. Well, you know what? Give it a go. Canon, I really don't know why you keep focusing on the bit of the uh, metal behind my head. Is there something in the room with us? My goodness. If there is, can you please wait till I stop filming because we need it to focus on the bargains. So I picked that up and then I also picked up, I was absolutely ecstatic when I saw this. It was only the one flavour and it was the last one there. So best believe your girl ran and grabbed it. Flavita, who remembers these? Flavita Bubbly. 79p it is a strawberry sparkling water they do mojito and they also do i think it was a passion fruit but that's all i could get and i snapped it up absolutely snapped it up oh please don't drop please don't drop and then i picked this up this was 79p i think i've had something similar to this before from b m but they've changed the packaging it's the liquid candy shop sparkling birthday cake soft drink 
look at that, I just thought it was really funky. Zero sugar, zero calories. Now I'm covered in the fluff from the gonk. I didn't think this through, did I? <laughs> Wearing a black dress when I'm going to be dealing with a lot of fluffy stuff. Because we've still got a big fluffy guy to come out. I think you're going to love him. And the last thing of like soft drinks, Sunny D, one pound. One pound for a litre of Sunny D. This in Tesco can be two pound. Don't be paying it, don't be paying it. Not going to lie, it's only 20 calories per 250ml. 50% of your vitamin D, but I don't think it's healthy at all. I don't really think it is. Like the sugars and that, we're just not going to go in it. But to relive my childhood, absolutely. I need to relive my childhood as much as I can because we didn't have all this when I was growing up. So I do feel like I am regressing into my childhood. But hey ho, we'll save adult until when I get to like 30 or something, yeah? I've got mum some tea towels. Not for like a Christmas Eve box or anything because she needs to use these. She probably won't even use them, that's the thing. She'll probably like want to put them over the oven and make it look nice. This was a set of two for £4, £3.99. This one is the really soft one, like a velour. And then the one on the back is, you know, I don't know, they're not like microfiber, but it's not velour, it's a bit more rougher. So you've got a nice soft one and then you've got a rough one, but I loved it. I loved it. That homeware section... They had, they actually had a good fair bit. They had like hanging baskets to put your treats in. They had the wine bottle sleigh thing. They had a Christmas tree um, serving board. They had a sleigh for chips and dips. I could have really gone mad, but I said, <laughs> when I get my own place, then that is all to come. There is literally no room to swing a cat in this house, nor in Dada's because I've overtaken his um, spare room. It's getting to the point where I feel like I need to rent a storage unit. You know, <laughs> I need to be like, I need to go and just put it all in there and rent a storage unit. It's a little bit excessive, I know. Definitely didn't need another one of these and you're absolutely going to shout at me. But I got another cushion. Guys, how gorgeous is this? This really gave me vibes because, do you remember my one that I got from HomeSense? I think this was last year or the year before. It's got deers on. I thought this would look really nice. This was 6 99 which I don't think is too bad. Home Sense and TK Maxx, I did notice over the Halloween period, their cushions did creep up. It weren't so much $9.99, it was $12.99 and $14.99 and $16.99 and up to 20 quid. Don't go to home bargains and skip their homeware. You can get an absolute bargain. And I loved it because also it's plain. So if you didn't really want it and you just wanted the plain vibe, but I love that. I want to put it out now. Can we just put you there and then we'll sort you out after? Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, did I just kick you? I do apologise, my lovely. Let's have a look. We're getting down to the final few bits you're probably thinking. Goodness gracious me. Hurry up, girl. Hurry up and get this over with. Right. Classics. You used to get three for a quid. Now I think it's 40p each. There's no offers on anymore. It's just singular. So, hey ho. They've gone up a bit, but Mama G. Oh no. Now the bag's going to annoy me. Get over there. Picked up Mama G six of her snacks. So we've got three of the roast chicken pasta and three of the chicken and mushroom noodles. Not gonna lie, I'm not really one for the chicken pasta, but the chicken and mushroom noodles are actually really nice. I would actually recommend them. I was gutted that I didn't see any of the Christmas dinner ones. I'm very sparingly having them. I had two the other day in a big old mug because it was freezing. It was absolutely freezing. And I thought, you know what? I need to have something. I actually need to have something. I wanted something to start getting me in the spirit. I saw that. I put two in. Oh, my God, divine. So now I'm down to three because I think I picked up five last time. Aye, aye, aye. Can't be here going without them. I picked Dada up a big bag of licorice all sorts. One ninety nine, But I do think these are quite expensive in the shops. And I think sometimes the bags are better than, like, the boxes. Because I'm not being funny. Them cardboard boxes, there's hardly nothing in them, is there? You open it and it's, like, a quarter filled, if that. I mean, this is about... Well, this is pretty much filled to the top. So I don't think that's too bad. I do prefer to go for, like, the bags over the cartons. Because I do think the cartons are a bit of a rip-off, you know? And then we got a little pot. If you remember this, I picked up golden syrup last time. They didn't have any. These were... I'm going to say 69 or 79p, but they are little Ambrosia ready-to-eat porridge. Guys, I thought it would bubble over and spill everything like that. No, genius. 
I don't know how it does it. It doesn't bubble over. It doesn't like spill out over the pot. Love these. They did have one with strawberry in and I was a bit like, mm, no. So I just got an original and what I'll do is I'll just drizzle a bit of uh, golden syrup on it. I'll just drizzle a little bit. And for 49p, Kerala garlic. This is going to come in handy and I think probably next month I'm going to have to get another one and stock up with me herbs because garlic and herbs is going in everything and anything, I tell you. Everything and anything. Got a few new bits. Well, this is definitely new. Picked up a Harpic Active Fresh Mountain Pine. One pound and I thought, you know what, it's kind of Christmassy, ain't it? It's pine. Pine is trees. Right, let's try and... Didn't want to dent me gonk. I saw this for a two pound. It's by the brand Designer Fragrances. And it says, freshen up your space, blast can air freshener. And it said, bringing you hypnotic scents of vanilla and black coffee with invigorating orange blossom. I've got no idea, but I just thought it was quite quirky. Oh, a blast that lasts. I'm not going to do that because that looks like it could come out as a foam. Well, I hope not. Using short bursts to leave... A fragrance that settles features a high pressure blast nozzle oh my god it's a high pressure blast nozzle we're gonna leave you on there and i'll tell mum to be careful if it's high pressure because don't want her having an injury do we finally 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 guys canon no don't focus there you need to focus on this how long have i not had these for a good couple of months ain't it a good couple of months i don't know what's happened why did they stop they've changed the packaging i'm not gonna lie i don't like the new packaging the packaging before was a lot more colourful, weren't it? It was like a Japanese um, village background. Weren't a fan of that. 99p gone up to 129. Hmm. I was trying to find the teriyaki one as well. They didn't have them. Um, I picked one of these up. There weren't a lot left. They was loads in, but they always had dents in the top. It's like someone just goes around with their nails and like pokes it. What's the point? What is the actual point? But I've got one. So I'm happy. I've got snack for lunch. And then... Could we end on something that's not Christmassy? No. Let's make sure we've got everything out. I don't want to be chucking. Well, I just smacked myself in the face. Chucking the bag and I'm going to get lamped with something. 99p. I got mini candy canes. So these are going to be the perfect thing to snack on. Oh my God, I might take these for my drive up. These would be the perfect snack. Okay, I'm, I'm taking these with the meringues. I'm, go I'm going to start Christmas early. I mean, hey-ho. It's always Christmas when we're driving to Newcastle, so why not? Ending on mulled wine. Three meals, mulled wine. You can't go wrong with it. This is the one that me and mum go for. Or sometimes we just get the Tesco one, which I think is around £2.99 as well. These in garden centres are five to six pound a bottle. You pay because it's in a garden centre. Don't. This, people might say, well, it's the cheap one. I haven't got any problems. I like to cut up a big orange and put it in there because I like it a bit more citrusy in my mulled wine. Honestly, can't fault it. If you're looking for a good mulled wine that's affordable, well, I say good. I find it good. You might tell me, Sean, it's absolute poop. But for me, look, I'm not an expensive date, okay? <laughs> £2.99 bottle of mulled wine and I'm good to go. Add a few oranges, perfect. I might even do a mulled wine once I'm back from Newcastle. Mulled wine. I'm really getting in the spirit now. I'm really getting in the spirit. And my lovelies, the last thing, the piece de resistance. Da -da 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 -da. I got a blooming reindeer. I got a reindeer, guys. I'm going to have to move back so that he's got centre stage. Look at this. He is just adorable. He's a good old size as well. It's a good size. Look at him. He was £14. Pound. I know you're thinking, Shan, that's expensive. Yes, it is. For something I'm going to keep forever. No. And you can go in other shops. And as I say, the garden centres, again, they little soft things. You're going to pay 20, 25 quid. When I showed mum, she said, oh, how much? I said, have a guess. She said, 25 quid. I said, no, 14 pound. She said, why did you not get another one? No, mother, I thought I was doing good. I just got the one. You could get in with a grey scarf. But I like the red. I like the traditional. And my lovelies, my bed is absolutely covered. We've got a new few family friends. That is this month's haul done guys it's a big hole ain't it there's everything and anything here oopsie i so so hope that you've enjoyed this this is kind of the start of the christmas hauls um as i say the background isn't fantastic i haven't got my tree up yet we've just got the bedding but 
it's all been a bit hectic coming back from holiday and dealing with things and getting ready for like Halloween and then Halloween's gone and I'm in Newcastle for four days so when I come back I need to start getting back into the gym as well but we're gonna we're gonna try and make it work we are going to try and make it work ain't we my friend because I think you're gonna come in my room oh have I just caught your little paw I need to cut that there's a little bit of wood sticking out I don't want to rip in my bed in we'll chuck we'll uh, chuck you not gonna chuck you we'll trim you down okay Guys, if you did enjoy the haul, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. As I say, what's your favourite McCoy's flavour? What was your favourite bit from the haul? Have you seen anything that you think, Shan, you need? And also, how do you rate Pan Lad? Is it worth me doing a little visit? And as I say, please, if you don't like all of these hauls over Christmas and that, I am so, so sorry. Please stick with me, though, because next year, I'm so excited for next year. I've already started planning the content and... <laughs> but after way too much of your time already you're sick of me have a lovely sunday or whatever day you're watching this on my lovelies and i'm probably going to see you tomorrow for a brand new video ain't i or if you really like me and you haven't seen like maybe a few of my other uploads go and check them out for us and let us know if you've come from this video okay take care stay safe as always and i'll say yeah see you probably very soon bye guys